Tuesday today is going to be about crystals. Now, some of you might straight away think, oh, I know all the, what there is to know about crystals, but I've had a few people over the last sort of couple of weeks, couple of months, ask me what it is I do by putting those crystals on under the moon. What it is I, what it is I do when I'm laying them up on the, um, <clears throat> on the windowsill? What does charging mean? What does cleansing mean? So sometimes, Something that we do automatically all the time, we think everybody knows about. So if there's some of you that do know all this, that's absolutely fine. But I just felt like I needed to come on today in case there's some people on here that just need a refresher or just need to sort of, yeah, just hear it from, hear it again. So crystals. So why do we cleanse them? How do we cleanse them? And <clears throat> what is it all about this moon charging and this moon water? So crystals are beautiful. They are magical, magical little things that are from Mother Earth. They're from Mother Earth and they, they're here to, they've got remarkable, beautiful properties to help us or to heal us or to excite us, to give us a bit of energy. <coughs> We can use the big crystals, we can use the small crystals, we can wear them as jewellery, however feels right to each of us, you know. But we want to get the maximum out of them, the maximum potency that we can get out of them. So the way I see it, now everybody may do it slightly different, but you know me by now, hopefully I keep it as simple as I can and I just share in what I do. So if you know something different, go with what you feel. But the way I charge and cleanse my crystals is this. So the way I see it is this. Crystals absorb energies. They absorb good energies, they absorb bad energies, negative energies, they absorb it and they can get really clogged up. They can clog up, a bit like we can, you know, if we're in, you know, company that either can be really good or really a little bit, um, you know, that we can get clogged up, we can get sometimes bogged down by, well, our crystals are the same and they can get clogged up with that stuff and that's okay but we just that's why we just need to cleanse them and to charge them we want our crystals to be flowing completely flowing with energy we don't want them to be clogged up so to get them to flow back lovely for us it's good to cleanse and and to recharge them regularly now you haven't got to do it every day every other day if you want to do that that's absolutely fine go with what you feel i'm all by now you know I'm all for going what feels right for you, but for me, I tend to charge and cleanse them once a month. So how do we cleanse them? So there's lots of ways we can cleanse them. So often I'll say to somebody, just run them under running water, cold running water, just a caveat to that and just know there are some crystals like selenite. So selenite is the one that's white and it's good for our crown chakra. Um, it's a bit frosty. Um, these can then these are not good in water they'll just crumble and disintegrate and just be a big mess and you don't want them to do that and there's there's lots of others so before you do run them under cold running water <clears throat> sorry um just have a search double check or check with the person that you've bought them from often it's something with ends with night so selenite they're often the ones that can't be in water but what i say to people is run them under cold running water just for a couple of seconds you're just getting my energy's off, the environment's energy's off, or just any energies that have got stuck to them, anybody else that's handled them. Another good way of cleansing your crystals is get an um, incense stick and just put it over the smoke. I often do this with my tarot cards to get rid of other people's energy and to get them fresh again. Just run them, again, the same as the water, just run them under, just leave them around, hovering around the smoke. It just gets everything off of them and, and cleanses them beautifully. If you love a smudge stick, now if anyone doesn't know what a smudge stick is, they come in lots of different forms and they can be um, a bundle of sage and lavender and all things like that. And again, I haven't got this one lit, but again, you can just waft that under the smoke of a smudge stick if that's your, if that's your thing. But the, that's a really quick and easy and lovely way to... Uh, cleanse your crystals and another way is under the moon but I'm going to talk about the moon in a second but another way to cleanse them so that's the ways that I see it for cleansing your crystals underwater under running water under an incense stick under a smudge stick or in the moon okay and that cleanses them that gets rid of all that out it's like wringing that um, sponge out cleansing them it just gets all that that rubbishy stuff out that we just don't want 
So let me just talk about full moon. We love the full moon. The full moon is a big moment of yummy, powerful, beautiful energy. You know, the event, <clears throat> the energy from the moon can affect our mood, good or bad, you know, tricky. It can, you know, affect the waves, all sorts of stuff. So it's huge. So it can do the same with our crystals. So don't ignore the full moon. Um, it can, so the full moon can cleanse and charge our crystals, which is just fabulous. You know, you're harnessing that energy of the full moon. So what does charging mean? Char so you've cleansed your crystals, so charging them just means that you're filling them back up with all the energy that they've got. Now that energy can be whatever crystal you've chosen. That can be, for, again, like for healing, it can be for, to give you energy. It can get be one of those crystals that gets you to sparkle. It can be any one of those, but it fills them back up with the energy that they were that they that they had in the start that they were meant to have. So this is what some of you have asked. What do I do with my crystals when I'm putting them out in the full moon? So me personally, I put mine on my windowsill. I put them all out on my windowsill, whether it's jewellery, whether it's crystals, big crystals, small crystals. You know, I put them out on my windowsill. Some people put them out um, outside. So they're direct, direct in those moon energy rays and they're getting them direct. Now, I'll just say, if you're going to put them out in the full moon, just make sure you put them, I mean, you haven't got to, but just make sure, oh, see the smoke from the incense stick, just make sure that you put them in a plastic bag or something, just so that, you know, if animals or something come along, they don't think, oh, that looks nice and take them off from you. So just put them in a plastic bag if you're putting them direct out under the rays. Don't forget, it doesn't matter if it's cloudy, um, you can still get the energies from the full moon. And another thing I want to say is, the full moon is potentest on one day, but either side of those days, it's still got loads and loads of lovely energies. So don't panic if you are away or you've missed the date or something like that. And I know some of us on here follow one calendar and some of us follow another and we've, you know, got, you know, we're not on the same of, of what day we're getting it. That's okay because you've got three days to use that energies to get your ch crystals charged up, for, cleansed and charged up for you. So... When you've when you're putting them under running water, or when you're um, putting so when you're putting them under running water, or when you're putting them in under the incense, I literally am just thinking what I want. So I'll spend a couple of seconds afterwards just asking that, telling that crystal what I want, the same as what I would with the universe. I, I I'm telling it all the time what I want. So I I want the crystals to know what I want them to do for me. Although, again, they've got that book value, they also can do what you want from that crystal, but you've got to let them know. So just sit, and you also want it to connect to you and your energy. So I just sit for a second, and I just, just sit with it and let it know what I want and let it feel my energies, and we sort of have a little bit of a bond. There's not suddenly a great big, you know, moment, but I feel a bit of a connection to it. So it's nice to have that connection to it. So, and it's the same when I'm putting my crystals out on my windowsill. I'm just, you know, I've not got the radio blaring or the television on. I'm just putting my crystals out and I'm asking the moon, the universe, the whatever to charge my crystals up, to cleanse my crystals and charge my crystals for me. So I've covered all crystals, but what I want, the last thing I want to just cover is moon water because I know a couple of you have said, what on earth is moon water? Is it complicated? No, it isn't complicated at all. I've got a jug, um, it can be a fancy jug, mine's just a jug, just a glass jug. Um, if you want a nice jug or bottle, you know, you do that, but mine's just a normal jug. I've also got little um, jars that have got screw lids and I put them out, so I fill them up with my water that's from my, um, the word's gone from me for the moment, sorry, this happens to me in the menopause, the, you know, what the jug is called. Oh God, I can't remember what the jug's called. Filtered, filtered water. Um, I, so I fill it up from, from my filtered water and I put my glass um, jug and jars on the side and I literally just put them with my crystals to charge up, exactly the same as crystals. I want that water to have all those energies from that moon and that water lasts me in the fridge i then come down the next morning and i'll i mean put a little lid on it if you can or a little muslin over it because you don't want flies or dust or anything getting in it um and then i put that water in my fridge now that moon water 
which I just love. It tastes no different at all. I can use that for a few things. You can put it in the bath, a little drop in the bath. I haven't got a bath now, so I don't use it for that now. But you can put it in a spray bottle. You can spray your plants with it. You can spray your face with it. It's lovely as a cool, fresh thing. But I drink it, so what I'll do, I'll just top up the kettle um, once a day with just a little bit of it, or I'll top up my drinking bottle water. We just, so I'll have my drinking bottle water and then I'll just top a little bit of moon water in it every day. And it lasts me throughout the month. So I'm getting those energies from the moon all the way through the month and it's lovely. So I've covered everything I wanna cover. If you've got any questions, please ask. If you've got any other ideas that I haven't mentioned that you do, please put them in the comments because I'd love to hear. And um, yes, have a fabulous day and I shall see you all soon. Love yous, bye.